everyone. This is Al Fadi, and uh, we want to thank you for joining us again in this uh, fascinating series that we are uh, going through right now, myself and Dr. J. Smith, in terms of uh, refuting the so-called uh, scientific miracles of the Quran. We've done quite a few of those already, and today we are going to focus on yet another one. This time, we're going to talk about inheritance and mathematical calculations when it comes to that. And with that says, Dr. J. Smith, Uh, Tell our audience, uh, what's the big deal about inheritance and how to calculate them? Well, it has to do with mathematics. We've looked at uh, two scientific proofs already, supposedly, that were scientific. Now we're going to look at mathematics because you've got the same problem. And we're looking at chapter 4, or surah 4, and we're looking at verse 11 and 12, which are very long verses, and it goes through all the scientific, I'm sorry, the mathematical reference goes on who gets what when someone dies. So let's look at the slide here, and let's look at case number one from chapter 4, verse 11 and 12. When a man dies, according to the first case study, the widow gets one-eighth. That's so right. he leaves a life, wife behind, she gets one-eighth. If he has three daughters, which is the case of my brother-in-law, if he were to die, my brother-in-law did die. Then the three daughters get two-thirds, and when he died, his parents were still living. So the widow, my sister, got a third. The three daughters would get two-thirds. And then the two parents who were still living would get another third. You total well, that where up. Where is that one third coming from? One and one eighth. So that's 112.5%. That's right. I mean, that's a good investment, actually. <laughs> Not a no. I wouldn't want an investment like that because it doesn't work. It just doesn't work. So that was with my brother in law when he died. I just did this together. And we had done a debate there at Speaker's Corner. And I brought this up at that time. More recently, I decided, well, what would happen if I died? Uh, and, of course, I wanted to find out what would go on because when I died, I still had my wife. My wife would be alive, and my I have two sisters. So I went back to chapter 4, verse 11 and 12, and that's case number two. This is my case. If I died and my mother was still living, then she would get a third. Now, my wife would get a third, and my two sisters would get two-thirds. And we're still going over. Four-thirds of 100%, which is 133%. That's right. Whoever wrote the Quran didn't know their mathematics very well, or they just made a mistake, or they're just being lazy. Wait a minute. Are you telling me there is no scientific miracles here? Uh, This is not a scientific miracle. I mean, it seemed like the money is growing, my friend. And I, I would love to know who they were thinking of, because I just used my family in both these instances with my sister whose husband died, and myself when I was, to, if I were to die and my mother was still living. So you can see, that it, you, it gets almost humorous if you keep going on this, and that's why be careful of what you claim. Muslims, you need to be careful of what you claim. Absolutely. Don't I mean, claim this is a miracle. This is not a miracle. This is an error. And this is, like I said earlier, you know, in, in uh, the beginning of this series, you know, this is a very simple one, you know. If, if you want to add it to the list of scientific miracles, we have just finished the job. We have just refuted it. Mathematically speaking, anyone who knows how to calculate will tell you there is a problem. I mean, we did it just talking. We knew it's over already without even using a calculator. So, unfortunately, uh, I don't know why my Muslim friends tend to go in that direction. Why do they use science, biology, numerology, and all that kind of stuff? It's definitely an act of desperation. No more, no less. Until we meet again, have a blessed day. Thanks for watching. Make sure to like and subscribe. Also, hit the bell so that you don't miss future videos. And please consider becoming a patron at patreon.com forward slash Sira International. And together, we can introduce Muslims to the gospel of Jesus Christ. Thank you.